she stands. Between the twinkling starry streamers, surrounded by the space hubble and bubble of clinking glasses, she stands in the corner of the party, clutching the fraying edge of her finest dress. She's tired. The mantle of her mind chipped away, exposing the layers of her core. Continental cracks cross her forehead. Wild windstorms shift as she sways from foot to foot. Mountain edges crumble as her fingertips fidget. She stands on her axis, anxiously orbiting, ignored in every cluster of conversation. No one wants to listen to the layered land of her meandering mind, the tangled and overgrown jungle of her imagination, her thoughts that flow in wild streams of consciousness. She's known to never stop spinning. No out-of-office hours, always under an ozone layer of pressure. A hectic calendar. Seven continental commitments, a 24-hour operational ecosystem, an email box bursting to the brim of her ocean rim. Her stress levels continue to rise as her coral cheeks wilt white and pale. Her resources are squeezed to their final drop, devastating her fields of self-esteem. Her tectonic shifts are getting more out of control. When she cries, her tears flow hard and fast, soaking farmlands and coastal paths in her grief. In her anger, her shouts tornado through the sky, destructive whirling winds destroying all in her path. She's been hurt and she's still hurting. Past relationships turned toxic waste as they pumped her dry of her natural smile, leaving her barren and drained. When she reaches out for help, she's ignored, muted and forgotten. Calls go through to answer phone. No one's her emergency contact. She's tired. She needs someone to hold her headland, rest the strain of her seabed, lower the growing pressure on her atmosphere. She stands there gripping her fraying dress. I stand up and cross the room. Hello? How can I help? I'm here. I'm here. 